So I'm super excited, this is my first vlog. Uh, if you've been following me on TikTok, you know I post every other day. I have this series called Let's Build an App, and I basically just showcase the day-to-day -day of me building this productivity app called Ellie. The thing is I leave out like 80% of my day in those videos. I wanted to make a longer video where I do keep in like most of that 80%. I don't know how interesting this is gonna be, but I'm gonna take you guys along through my day. So yeah, let's get started. So something you guys are probably wondering is, why do I film at this table? This is probably the most well-lit spot in the entire apartment. And that's also why I film around here too. I also work here because this is Luna's favorite spot to sleep. I don't know what it is, but it takes like an hour and then our kitchen is super messy. So every single day I spend some time cleaning it up. It's usually a pretty good break actually. So yeah, let's go do that. So this is where I film my first Q&A video. This is probably where I'm gonna be filming all my Q&A videos. But yeah, I'm gonna take like a 20 minute break and just clean the kitchen. Maybe this is a good time to answer some questions. So one question I get is, do I work on Ellie full time? The answer is no, I do not work on Ellie full time. So I started this company called Aloa and that's what I do full time. So the pitch for Aloa is that we're trying to build the greatest outsourcing experience on earth. So we help startups basically outsource software development. Outsourcing doesn't have the greatest reputation and for good reason, and we're trying to see if we can change that. I'll put the link in the description if you wanna go check it out. So for the people who do know that I have a full-time job, then the next question is, how am I balancing all of this? The honest answer is that I'm still trying to figure it out, but the current flow that's been working for me is every single day and most of the time the night before, I kind of pre-plan out what that day is gonna look like. At the beginning of the week, I sometimes pre-plan what the week is gonna look like and being able to budget out what is my day gonna look like has helped me balance both you know, running a startup and also doing a bunch of side projects, doing content creation. It's helped a ton. I don't mean to plug Ellie, but Ellie helps me really balance my time just because of the time boxing and all of those features that I built in. We got Luna, some toys. She has been trying to climb up on this counter to get this thing. She's actually been able to get a couple toys off this counter and she's not that tall, but she's really long. All right, look at that. Already better. Now we're gonna go take out this one and go on a walk. <laughs> now go outside. Okay. so happy. Okay. Okay, it's about 10.30 now. Usually I have a ton of meetings, um, but today there's only like three. Yeah, I got three. They're kind of random throughout the day, so I'll try to record everything I'm doing around the meetings. But here's the game plan for today. We have two one-on-ones with people on my team and then a sales call, and then I have so many support emails to catch up on for Ellie. A lot of bugs and feature requests that I gotta get done. If I can get through like three or four of them today, I'll be pretty happy. Pretty packed schedule, but I'll take you guys along so you guys can see what that looks like. Okay, looks like we're gonna go to that coffee shop now. So I'll take you guys with me. I'm honestly very terrified of filming in public. So might not get too many clips from there, but I'll try my best. So just got back from the coffee shop. It was pretty good, but I felt a little uncomfortable filming, so didn't get too many clips there, but, but I, I got a lot of coding done, which is good. Now I'm back, it's around 1 p.m. Hi, how 
are you? She doesn't want to be here. No, she does. She's okay with it. Okay. I'll put you back. We're back here because I have a meeting to take and I couldn't really take it over there. The coffee shop was a bit crowded. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that meeting. All right, so that meeting's done. Uh, now we're gonna go back to coding. So I'm taking a quick break from some of the Aloha stuff. I got a bunch of keyboard shortcuts so you can do things like hit shift T. Yeah, it'll highlight the first task in today and then you can actually use your keys to navigate between the tasks. And then you can use things like keyboard shortcuts to hit enter to expand it. If you hit shift B, it's supposed to highlight the first item in the brain dump. Yeah, that's not really working. So yeah, just spending a couple minutes on that. It's been like 20 minutes, couldn't fix the issue, but we'll try again later. Yeah, so about to go to the gym. I started eating these overnight oats every day. Pretty easy to make. I am pretty bad at cooking and making things, um, but this actually isn't too bad to make. Okay, so let's actually go. Just got back from the gym, uh, got one more meeting left for the day, so gonna go do that really fast. Okay, so that was the last meeting for the day, pretty good. It's also super bright. This is the negative sitting here um, around like 3.30, 4 p.m. The sun gets really intense, so probably gonna go switch, maybe even go to my desk or something. I just gotta take care of a couple more Aloha things uh, for the rest of the day, so that should take maybe about two and a half, three hours, and then I'll finish up some of the stuff that I was doing on Ellie. So yeah, that's the game plan. Let's go do it. Okay, so this is my desk. This is why I don't film here. It's super messy. I'm not even gonna lie and try to clean it. Next video, I'll take some time and clean this. Turns out I'm completely blocked by something, so I can't even continue with this. While I wait for someone on my team to reply, I'm just gonna go back and work on the hot key bug I was working on for Ellie. All right, also changed because it's super hot in here. Yeah, let's do the hot key stuff. So where were we? All right, so now we got this working. So if I hit Shift B, I can tab down with the keys, tab up, and it goes between lists. If I hit Shift T, it goes to the first first task in today. Hit Shift B again. Yeah, works. Hit Enter. Good. So yeah, all this works. All right. Something I just realized though is that when you're in compact mode and you hit Shift B, there is no highlighting here. So I just completely forgot to code it. So gotta go do that. All right. So after a few minutes. I finally got this working too. Hit shift B and then this will highlight and then you can tab between everything. So yeah, I think this is, what is that? I guess I accidentally typed this U here. So get rid of that. Okay, cool. Now I think we're good. I've been getting some feedback on some more advanced filtering for Ellie. So I think that's the next thing I'm gonna go work on. Uh, let me show you guys what I mean. There's actually this filter thing you can do here. So this is great if you wanna filter by labels. So if I just wanna see things that are labeled with one, I click it. If I wanna see one and two, I click it. This gets kind of crazy when you have 50 labels, which a lot of people do. And sometimes they wanna be able to select all and select none really quickly. So I need to add this option here. Then the other thing is that some people have requested that when things are time boxed, wanna be able to filter this Kanban view to remove tasks that have already been time boxed. Uh, if we can get that done today, I'll be pretty happy. Look how aesthetic the desk looks like with all these lights. So one of the things I do when designing new components is look at other apps for inspiration. So there's this website I use called Mobbin. It's not free. They basically have a bunch of screenshots uh, of different apps. So let's say I wanna find how other apps do filtering and sorting. It'll show you all the examples of other apps. This is a website called Ghost, and it looks like this is how they do their filter menu. This is exactly what I'm looking for. So this is perfect. I'm a really big fan of how they're using icons. Another thing I'm looking at are other apps. So I know, for example, Notion has pretty advanced 
performance filtering and like turning something like sub items on and off. I love how it's not just a toggle, it's like more explicit. Like it says that sub items are off. It, what's kind of nice about this one too is when you click it, they have a little explainer before you turn it on. This is my design process. I just kind of look at other apps, pick the things I like, avoid the things I don't like, and then implement them in Ellie. All right, so it's 9 p.m. and I think we basically got it done. Let me show you guys what this looks like. Users can now select all labels at once and clear the selection. And then there's this new thing. You can now filter and hide time box tasks. So by default, tasks that are time box will appear here. But if you click this off, since all of these tasks were time boxed, they're now gone from here. We'll see if this causes any confusion for anyone. Um, this should work on mobile too. Ooh, it does not. Okay. Okay, well, we'll figure this out later. We're gonna go ahead and ship this and the hotkey bug fix that we got. And yeah, that's gonna go into production tonight. So this is the first vlog. Hope it was cool to see a more in-depth version of my day. And if you guys wanna see this more frequently, go check out my TikTok. I post every other day. I also post every single day on Twitter. So follow me on both of those. And yeah, hope you guys found this interesting and follow along for more.